Hey guys, Phil here. Wanted to make this super quick and dirty video just to tell you how I go about avoiding copyright claims on my YouTube DJ sets, okay? Now this is an issue we all have. You find all this music, you put it together, create this amazing DJ set that takes loads of effort, upload it onto YouTube and it gets no hits. One of the main reasons is YouTube might be restricting your video from being watched in certain countries because of restrictions of the songs you have used. Now, I want to say straight away, this video isn't going to stop you getting copyright claims. You, the second you use anybody's song, you don't get money for that video. That music goes to someone else. I don't know how it works when you put like 50 songs in the DJ set, how they do that. But that's not my problem. That's their problem. So here's the thing. The second you use somebody else's track, you're not going to get any money for it and you will get copyright claims or, you know, copyright issues on your videos. That's not a problem though. What you don't want is restrictions on your videos, okay? You don't want YouTube to go, we're not showing your video in the United States. We're not showing your video in Canada. We're not showing your video in the UK because it's like, well, they're all your hits. You're not going to get anybody in those countries seeing your videos. That's the big issue, okay? So I'm just going to tell you now. What I do, if you check out my screen here, I have a secondary YouTube channel that I don't care about, right? And I essentially go and upload tests, like all the songs I'm thinking about putting into my YouTube channel, I upload. And we can see, look, here's one that's partially blocked. This one's completely blocked, so that's a problem, right? Because I've just been doing this myself because I'm going to put a load of DJ sets together. So I want to test what music works and what doesn't. So before I get into how I record this music, I'm just going to give you an example now. So this says partially blocked. So I'm going to click on copyright claims and just go to see details, right? And it's going to come down and it's going to show me all the songs that it recognized that I've obviously pre-recorded. And it'll say video can't be monetized or video can't be monetized. That's fine. But then all of a sudden it says video cannot be seen or monetized. That is a problem. That will affect your views. That means less people are going to see your videos. That means you will less, attract less attention, get less fans, less all the rest of it, right? So now I'm going to go in and have a look at the faith, okay? So we click on this and it'll say blocked in some territories. Again, this is the issue you're looking for. So you scroll over here and it says North Korea, Syria, Iran, and Cuba. And it's like, Okay, that's not the end of the world. There's not the heavy hitters. Some of them say blocked in territories and you click it and it's like every country in the world. Like, pfft, you've got to get rid of that. It's not too much of a problem if my DJ set isn't shown in North Korea. I don't know how many people watch my DJ sets in North Korea. So let's go and have another look at one. So this one here, video can't be seen or monetized. Let's just quickly check this one and see. So you just click on that, click on blocked in some countries. Same thing again, okay? Now... This one here says blocked. So let's go and click on this. Uh, copyright claims here and see what the heck is going on here. So um, let's just have a look down. Okay, hotline bling. Video cannot be seen or monetized. Click on this one here. It's got like a big red dot next to it, which is telling me this is a big problem. Um, and if I click it like this and go to blocked in all territories. Oh, blocked in all territories. Bang, we got one. Don't put hotline bling in any of your DJ sets ever. But there will be a few things like this. Now, the next thing I have to say to you is, how do you go about just recording a huge batch of music to upload? Because you could potentially get all your music, download all the music, go to your DJ decks, play 20 seconds of all the different songs, export them, bring them onto the computer, blah, 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 and upload them. But that's a pain, and it also means you're potentially wasting money if you go and buy all these tracks just to find out seven or eight of them can't be put into the DJ set, right? So this is how I do it. I'm on my computer here, obviously, and I've got this thing called Capto. That's what I use to record my screen whenever I'm doing a screen recording. I'm using it now, right? Now, how do I make sure I'm grabbing high quality um, sound from wherever I'm playing it from, whether it's Chrome, because if I'm playing music from Chrome in Beatport, for example, so if I come to Beatport, I've got a list of music here and I need to record it from Chrome into Capto, right? Because what you don't want to do is record the sound straight out of your speaker into another speaker and then upload that because you're going to lose a lot of quality that way. And it means that if you upload a recorded sound that you've recorded out of your speaker, the YouTube algorithms might not work 
and it might not recognize a song that you then take, go and put into a DJ set, upload, and then when it's high quality, and what I mean by high quality, like it's, it's perfect quality. It's being recorded straight from the MP3 file or whatever, rather than being out of a speaker and into another microphone, right? So what you don't want to do is do all that and then actually it does pick up on a track because you've wasted a lot of time. So I took me ages to find this. It's this thing called loopback, okay? And what you do with loopback, you have to pay for this, but you can go and create these devices. Like you can create, so you just go here, like virtual DJ device here, and you just click plus, right? And it creates a new one. And then you come to this source here and you can select loads of different programs, whether you're running the music through a v VLC player or uh, QuickTime or iTunes or Chrome, you just select that. And then when you go to Capto, at least this is how I do it, when you go to record the screen, you select the audio device as one of these, which is like Ableton or Chrome or iTunes. So, you know, it, sometimes I may want to record something from Ableton in high quality. I can do it this way. It's really, really awesome. It's really cool. Then when it comes to actually going and getting music, for example, if I want to do like a bass house track, which I'm doing um, the next track, the next thing I'm doing, I come to this, I created a huge playlist on Beatport of all these songs that I might want to put into the DJ set. They're all there, ready to go. Then I hit record on Capto. I go through, play 20, 30 seconds of each of these tracks like this. Stop the recording. Well, have all my recordings here. Go to my YouTube channel like this upload that screen recording, as you can see here, leave it for like an hour, because sometimes there's a delay, come back, you see which songs you're allowed to use, which songs you aren't allowed to use, bang. Then you've got those tracks, you can take them, download them, pay for them, go to the DJ decks, and you know you're all good moving forward. Bit of a complicated one, this, but it's really, really useful, and this is what I do. It is a pain though, like I'll give you another example, right? I recently just went to Acapellas For You and downloaded a huge batch of acapellas that look like this. Loads of different acapella acapellas here. And again, same thing. Once I have them all, go load them into iTunes, do the whole loop back thing and play 20 seconds of each of the acapellas. Let's go through them. And then same thing, you can see which acapellas work, which ones don't. And it just means you're in the safe zone and you're wasting no time. You don't want to upload a YouTube video only to find out that people in certain countries can't see it and it's going to slash your chances and all that hard work you put in were for nothing. So that's how I do it. And hopefully you can see uh, this process and hopefully it's helped you. And even if you don't use these exact same things, you'll be able to find stuff that's similar to it. I'm gonna leave that video there. Hopefully that really helps you. And I'm planning now on just going into a heap of different DJ sets moving forward, which I'm sure you guys are gonna love. See, oh, by the way, one last thing I wanna say, make sure you go and follow me on Instagram. I'm really pushing Instagram at the moment, giving away DJ decks on there, loads of cool stuff like that. So go and check me out at Phil Harris Music. You definitely want to follow me there. See you soon. Ciao. <laughs>